if he was going to have anything with anybody, the girls would definitely catch him. So maybe he planned it and he wanted to just, you know, remove himself. If you're in a relationship and it is not what you want, it, it, you're not getting, just move, move. Yeah, don't date rubbish in this life, oh. Do not date rubbish. No, Nigerian narrative. You don't tell somebody you are not smart and say it's not an insult. Oh God, that's an insult. Mess up. Mess up. <laughs>
You're calling me a fool. That's what you're saying in Nigerian narrative. But she was so emotional, all and all that. And, 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 and they went to hug. I'm like, ooh, okay, okay, settled, okay. <laughs> when you're in love, you you don't get to like see the wrong side of things. Like, even if the person is doing something so terrible, other people will be able to see it, but you, you will not be able to see it. I feel so sad that the relationship ended. The relationship did not only end, their friendship also ended. Imagine from strangers to friends, friends to lovers, lovers back to strangers, because it was so, it was so sad. Anyway, I went on Twitter and saw some tweets that I would like to share people's opinion on this particular issue. Uh, to me, left for me, I'll say, I'm beating man away. May I beat that guy? May I not let him go? May I beat him? Because what nonsense? What nonsense? Lady, a lady is in your room. The lights are dim. Music is playing. Goodness gracious. Why was she on a mask? If if she was your friend, you could have just easily introduced her to your girlfriend, Lee Rose, right? You'd have just said, oh, meet Sandra. This is Sandra, my old time friend and all that. Why did you have to make it look like Likoros was a mad person? You said you were sleeping and she was banging at your door. Eh, eh. I said, no, she, nah, she's jobless. She doesn't have work. That's what you're trying to say. That she does not have work. No, he, he, she, he made it look like Likoros was insane. Like she had a mental problem. I felt so bad and I was like, don't date rubbish in this life, fool. Oh. Do not date rubbish, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances. Do not date rubbish. Do not accept nonsense. When you, when it is not given, move. When it is not given, my sister, my brother, move. Now, we're not even being gender biased here. If you're in a relationship and it is not what you want, it, it, you're not getting, just move. Move. Yeah, people are plenty in this world. This word, people fool. People fool. I went on Twitter and I saw some tweets I'd like to share with you guys. Okay, so this is a tweet by Gideon Obona. And he says, it's total wickedness to know someone's backstory and decide to hurt them exactly the same way they told you people hurt them in the past. And to think I rated Ima, my respect for Likoros just tripled. Yes, I mean, Emmanuel knew Likoro's story. She shared her story with him in the house. He knew how hurt she was. And he went to even do more. He went to do worse. God, no, that, that's, that's demonic, honestly. Someone is hurt. The person comes to tell you, this is what I have been through. And you are like being a shoulder they can lean on only for you to end up being worse. That's not nice. That's not nice. Another tweet from um, Council of Chief Oloye, and he says, "Why are men villainized for not accepting love from a from a woman?" Oga, okay, wait. Are you okay? Did you watch? Did you watch this show? Do you understand what you're saying? Did you? Are you sure you watch this show? But it's okay for a woman to not be interested, and we all move on. Are you okay? Are you okay? I so, sorry, oh, Oloye, Abikilongbe, what's your name? Are you serious? Why, you're, you're trying to make it a men and a woman thing, a gender thing. Why are men villainized? Mm -mm. Excuse me. Hey, <laughs> God, oh, God, oh, God, oh. Why are men villainized? Really? If you know you don't love somebody, it is very easy for you to tell the person off. In the beginning if you know you're not feeling it in just don't 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 lead the person on do not do that you deepen the hurt you deepen the pain so this person responded to him and says why did he keep leading her on thank oh oh you see what I was saying why did he keep leading her on a simple I am not interested would have done the trick exactly my point thank you Chilima Ifediba and she goes on to say, moreover, this is not a gender bias. Exactly. If you see a woman who led a man on, call her out so we shame her too. But please, stop downplaying a person's story. Exactly. In this, in this situation, 
Emmanuel was not villainized for not accepting love from her. What we are saying is why he kept acting like he really liked her from the beginning of the show to the end and even outside the house. Even if you used her to move forward in the show, when you got out, you should have ended everything. But well, you kept telling her you love her. I mean, I love you is a big word. Now, these days, Nigerians don't even respect I love you anymore. They don't I love you, I love you. That's the problem. But she took it seriously. You told her you love her, not once, not twice. I mean, why would she not believe you? Because she obviously had feelings for you, but you played on that. You took advantage of that. I don't know, I'm so... I'm so, I'm so, I'm so pissed. I mean, like, you don't do that to people. You don't. You don't. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, so this is a tweet by that girl D, Dara X, and she says, I think women should stop telling their new partner the bad things their ex did and the sad past. Tell him how he treated you like a queen. That way you're raising the bars high for him and he wants to be with you he has to do and and if he wants to be with you he has to do more than if he stays then it's not out of pity exactly because it, it's this situation seems like emmanuel stayed with licorice out of pity and not wanting to hurt her but ended up hurting her so what um this person is saying is stop telling your new if you meet somebody new stop telling them the bad things your ex did to you because they might just do worse they might just do worse. How about you tell them how you were treated like a queen? Now, we're not saying you should lie, but tell them the good part about your past relationship so that they want to do better. They want to beat your ex. You get? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, she says, please do not misquote me. I didn't ask you to lie. Emphasis on how he treated you like a queen or there was no moment in your relationship where your ex was a good man. Leave the pity stories out. Tell him the good stuff so he stays because he chooses to not cause his pity in you. I mean, anybody that loves you out of pity is not doing you good. Because I know that someday you will not pity me anymore. So if you know you don't love me for me, I got move. I got move. So now there is this particular perspective that nobody has. I came across this particular one on Twitter. Hmm. <laughs> So there's this guy on Twitter, his name is Chat with Daniel. Daniel, he does this true crime story in Nigeria. And he said, what if all this was staged? Now, he looked at it from this perspective. Emmanuel wanted to cut off ties with Lecoros, but he did not know how to do it properly. So maybe he staged a girl, a lady that he called his old time friend, made her to be in his room at 4 a.m. in the morning. He, he was chatting with Likoros. He knew Likoros was going to come. And he just wanted Likoros to come and see for herself because he knows that her reaction would, you know, be the end. So maybe he was trying to, like, end the relationship, but he did not want it to be like, I don't know. I don't know if you're getting it. So now what this person is trying to say is, he thinks Emmanuel staged this, this. Like, he thinks Emmanuel did not have anything to do with that lady, but it was just staged. And when I thought about it, it could be possible that Emmanuel actually staged this because it could be a planned work. Now, what was, what was really annoying is if you did not have anything to do with that lady, when your babe, your girlfriend texted you that she was coming to your room, she came and she knocked on the door. You would have opened immediately if you were not doing anything, right? But you delayed. You made her keep knocking as if she had a problem. Only for you to text and say, I would come to your room and with someone. Are you, are you, are you mad? Thank <laughs> God. Are you meant? Are you crazy? You have to calm down, baby. Calm down. You're texting your girlfriend that I would see you later. I'm with someone. Hey, go. You go. 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 Eh? I I don't know. I don't know how people think. I don't know how. First of all, why are you even in in a hotel or in an apartment or? in another in a place and your girlfriend is in that place and you are having another lady with you are you okay at all 
Now, why chat with Daniel? This person on TikTok is saying it was staged because Emmanuel knew that Luke Rose was there. She was around. She was in that same hotel. So if he was going to have anything with anybody, Luke Rose would definitely catch him. So maybe he planned it and he wanted to just, you know, remove himself. But Emmanuel, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to say what is on my mind. I don't want to say what is on my mind. But anyway, it is so sad that they are no longer friends. Like, I mean, they're not lovers and they're no longer friends. Yes, that, that, I mean, the relationship should end. But friendship, she said it's going to bring disrespect. So they just have to go their ways. And I'm like, girl, girl, move on. You clearly deserve better. You clearly deserve better. And if you are a man out there or a woman out there and you see that you're falling out of love with somebody, speak with your partner. Let them know on time. Don't keep leaving them on. I mean, people have their lives to live. Do not delay. Do not delay them. Don't keep telling somebody, I love you when you don't mean it. Nigerians, stop it. Stop saying, I love you when you don't mean it. Don't do that. Don't do that. People take it seriously. There are a lot of people that are very emotional, like me. <laughs> like me. I'm really emotional. So, you, if, and this is why I love you. I fall in love with you. Just offer I love you. <sighs> Be my husband already. <laughs> Let's get married. But really, don't say things that you don't mean. Don't hurt the other person. And if somebody tells you a story about their past life, please don't make it worse. Don't make it worse at all. Please do not do that. But anyway, thank you for watching to this extent. I hope you enjoyed this particular episode of my channel. If you have anything to contribute, I'll be in the comment section waiting to read what you guys think about the Imaro ship that sank. Do you think he's staged? Or do you think he really cheated? What do you think? What do you think? I want to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this link. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. This baby girl wants to grow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you eventually like this video. Do not forget to drop your comments because I want to interact with you. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platform, Offeray underscore pop on Instagram. Let us also connect there. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video till this moment. I love you. And I mean it. I'm not lying. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.